Hey YouTube, Wisconsin Shoe Guy here. Wanted to spend a little bit of time today talking about my new roper boots, the Quero Austin. Uh, these boots are, uh, sorry, by zooming in, I, I'm able to get better color definition here than I am if I, I zoom out. Uh, these boots are uh, inexpensive. Um, they were $159.99, um, but uh, they seem to be made out of a nice um, top, or I don't, I think it's top grain leather. This isn't genuine leather on the, uh, on the vamp, uh, but it's also not full grain leather. Um, now it is corrected grain, but all uh, leather that has this pattern built into it is usually corrected grain as well. Um, now the soles on these are just ridiculous. They've got some nice pegging there, and then they did a uh, welt up at the top. Uh, and then a very thick leather heel stack uh, with a really thick uh, rubber top lift as well. Now the, uh, the, the upper or the sha shaft, I guess, of the boot uh, appears to be done with a little bit of uh, belly leather. Um, I'm gonna even go so far as to call this genuine leather, which as everyone knows is the lowest grade of leather. Um, and this is, um, Probably by design. I mean, I would say that uh, you want the upper to be really soft. You don't want this to, to hurt while you're walking. And so, uh, you know, they, uh, they put it together like this. And, you know, for an inexpensive boot, I think if I had spent $900 on the boots, I'd be unhappy with this. But uh, for $159, it's soft. It doesn't hurt my legs. I'm not really into cowboy boots. I still don't understand this, having this not match. And uh, when I did the unboxing, I noticed that and... Uh, still feeling a little bit uh, the same. Uh, now these are a black cherry color. Um, when I polished them, I used uh, I used three steps. I did Sophia Renovateur as a conditioner. Uh, then I added burgundy um, cream, number eight, uh, from Sophia. And then I uh, did a Sophia forest green wax on them to try to provide a little bit more depth of color. So um, obviously this is inside lighting, but uh, you can see they did a pretty nice job. I didn't spend a lot of time on the toes, uh, just uh, so you're not gonna see any definition of the lights above me. But uh, I thought it uh, provided a little bit of an insight there. So while they're top grain, they seem to be pretty well put together. The soles are certainly very, very good and they feel great. Uh, they have a great insole on them as well. So this is a Quero Austin and that is my review. Uh, I, I like them, but I'm not a boot guy, and uh, that's why my name is Shoe Guy. Um, so I will give them a try, and I'll report back in a few months after I've had a chance to wear them a few times. Thanks.